Approval of the emergency use of Russia's Sputnik V a vaccine for emergency use in Kenya. Questions have arisen on its approval, efficacy and safety. As for the use of AstraZeneca vaccine that is being distributed nationally and its efficacy has been questioned, although the WHO and the government has assured of its safety, of course, of the vaccine. However, the Ministry of Health has asked Kenyans not to take Russia's Sputnik V vaccine just yet, even though the Pharmacy and Fire Poisons Board, that is PPB, has given emergency use approval for Russian manufactured COVID-19 vaccine in Kenya through a private pharmacy. Daniel Karuki has more. It has been reported that private health facilities such as the Nanyuki Cottage Hospital have registered Kenyans for the job at a reported cost of about 8,000 Kenya shillings, saying the pharmacies and poisons board PPB okayed importation and distribution of the Sputnik V vaccine. However, Kenya Medical Association says they are not aware of the distribution, saying the problem lies in market guidelines. It is our recommendation that we need to be clear as to whether vaccines are being imported by the public government, that is Ministry of Health, or whether private are also allowed to import. This is a question of whether um, market authorization has actually been given. With the Ministry of Health advising Kenyans not to take the Russian-made COVID-19 vaccine, the Sputnik V with 92% efficacy, concerns have raised avoid safety. The way they work is the same, meaning that you want to elicit antibody reaction in the body. So you deliver a bit of it, which produces what is called a spike protein, which is the envelope protein in the coronavirus. The body identifies it as foreign, makes antibodies against it, and creates a memory of it such that when you get COVID-19 again, then your body reacts faster and clears the disease and prevents severe disease. However, when it comes to vaccines, they have different attributes, including storage requirements, their efficacy, dosing regimens, and manufacturing platforms. Now, when it comes to the percentage of efficacy, there is a belief that the vaccine with the highest percentage is the best. However, it isn't necessarily true. Dr. Simon Kigondu expounds on efficacy. And these numbers are as a result of the initial uh, studies or trials that they did. And um, any vaccine, especially these ones of COVID, that they, they, they need, required to be released faster because of an ongoing epidemic, any vaccine above 50% efficacy was declared to be useful. Now, many may ask, what's the difference between the Sputnik V and AstraZeneca vaccines? Well, for Sputnik V, its storage temperature is 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, which means it can be stored in a conventional refrigerator without need for a cold chain infrastructure. The job given in two doses is administered 21 days apart, unlike the four weeks apart for the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. The AstraZeneca vaccine with 62% efficacy that is already in use in the country requires refrigeration storage temperatures of between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. Daniel Karyoki for Switch TV.